This video is brought to you by Soccer.com, North America's largest online soccer retailer. Be sure to use coupon code 1SR4U at checkout for free shipping within the U.S. on any order of $100 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you an unboxing video today of the Nike Sabre EPL High Visibility Soccer Ball or Football, whatever you want to call it. And this is basically one of the takedown model soccer balls from Nike. Um, with a retail price of about $40. I've done lots of reviews on pretty much all of the top end match balls for all of the major leagues and all of the major tournaments, but I've had a lot of requests to bring in some of the lower cost stuff because not everybody can afford the high end match balls. Before I get into kind of talking about this particular ball, the main question that I get all the time is, is it worth it to buy a top end $150 soccer ball over a cheaper one? What are the differences between a $20 ball and a $150 ball? And the answer to that is pretty much everything, just like anything else that's really cheap and then really expensive. But it's very hard to explain what the differences are when it comes to high end and low end soccer balls. So I'll kind of, I'll probably make a video about that this weekend as like maybe question of the week. Let me know if you guys want, do want to see that. But as far as this ball is concerned, for the $40 retail, the quality on here is actually pretty good. As far as what you're getting for your $40, you're getting a fully bonded or heat fused soccer ball, meaning that all the panels are, there's no stitching to attach the panels to each other. It's basically all fused together like you would get from most high end soccer balls. So that's nice there. That means that generally it's going to be potentially a little bit more durable, but it's not going to absorb as much water. Um, if you are going to be using it in the wet. So that's definitely a nice thing to have, a nice feature, and something that you're not going to find too often for that $40 price tag. The other thing you're going to get is the EPL branding on there. So keep in mind that always drives the price up of, on the ball. So you have the EPL badge there, and you can see it has Sabre right here, and then somewhere on here, yeah, there it is. You have the 2012-2013 season badge on there as well. Then, of course, this is the high visibility version. If you don't like this particular colorway, there are some other colorways on the review page on my website where you'll also find some Buy It Now links to purchase one of these balls for yourself. So go ahead and check that out. If that does interest you, you'll find a link in the description. Of course, you do have the high visibility colorway on here as well. So you have a mainly yellow ball with the purple, blue, and pink graphics running throughout to make this ball as visible as possible. The idea behind the high visibility stuff from Nike is to have a ball that you can see really, really easily when you're playing in less than ideal conditions. So it's like raining really heavily, or even if it's snowing, it's it's kind of something that they release for the winter time when the weather is definitely less favorable for soccer. As far as the rest of the ball is concerned, you can see you have your uh, pretty traditional 32 panel design, which is something that I really like. And then as far as the, the paneling on the outside, it's like a synthetic leather material. It's, it's very hard, difficult to explain this, but it's basically got this shiny finish to it. And the paneling feels pretty good. There's, a, there's more padding on this than you would expect from most um, top end match balls. But nonetheless, it doesn't feel like it's cheap which is really, really important. You can see you have the valve on there, which is really well done. There's no kind of poor quality on this ball at all. Everything seems to line up really nicely as far as the joints between each of the panels. And uh, the overall weight of the ball feels pretty good as well. It doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. When it comes to low end and high end soccer balls, the main difference is gonna be the weight, the flight pattern, the consistency of the ball, how perfectly round it is, um, how much water does it take on? The overall touch on the ball is going to have a softer touch, a more firm touch. Um, every single ball is a little bit different. So this one's for that $40 price tag, like I said, feels pretty good. I'm definitely going to do um, get into the, doing more video reviews for soccer balls as opposed to written reviews. So I'm going to get to using this soccer ball and then in a couple weeks or so, I'm going to put up a video review. So lo look at this video as an unboxing and then in a few weeks from now, I'm going to do a video review. Let me know what you guys think about that idea and I'll probably go back to some of the other current match balls that I didn't do a video review of and do those in the next few weeks or so. So let me know about that idea and uh, in the comments down below. And if you could leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. Like I said, guys, as always, if you do want more information on this particular soccer ball, there will be a link in the description to the review page on my website, where you will find the high quality images, as well as buy now links with the best prices online, including some exclusive coupon codes that you can use um, to get this ball for a little bit better price if you are interested in getting one for yourself. Um, other than that, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, my Instagram is Josh, just like my account name. So if you want to kind of have a sneak peek of all the latest stuff that I get in for review and stuff that's going to be popping up on YouTube in the next couple of days, Instagram is definitely something that you should go check out. I'm a big fan of it, and you guys will definitely enjoy following me if you're into soccer gear at all. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.